Well, for the second time in just over a year, a Victoria police officer has lost a notebook containing highly sensitive information. CTV's Anna McMillan explains what that means for the dozens of people whose names or personal information were contained on those pages. Well, for the second time, one of Donald Mackay's clients has learned police have violated her privacy. On Monday, she received another notification from the Victoria Police, which said that another officer had lost a notebook. The defense lawyer says the notebook contained his client's name, address, and license plate. He says it was lost on February 14th and recovered eight days later. That information can be used to uh, assist in a home invasion robbery as she was subject to a year ago. After criminals got their hands on another notebook lost by a different Vic PD officer in late 2022. Approximately 26 letters have been sent out uh, to persons who are identified in the notebook. A retired Vic PD officer who spoke on the condition of anonymity due to concerns about future reprisals says it was a member of Strike Force who lost the notebook while executing a search warrant. They returned to the scene of the search warrant, um, talked to the persons who had been involved and recovered the notebook quite easily at that point. The former member says for officers, your notebook is basically an extension of yourself. He says it's sacred and to misplace it and not be aware of it is very unprofessional. Incidences like this could be mitigated with technology and we are actively researching uh, alternatives to paper notebooks. Notebooks that don't just contain information about suspected criminals. Potential witnesses to something they're investigating or people who have reported something they're concerned about. The retired officer I spoke to says members are trying to keep their heads down as the department earns headline after headline about failures like this and larger corruption concerns. The retired officer says he hopes the department learns to do better. Anna McMillan, CTV News, Victoria.